Um, my name is Yasmin Prez McGee. I'm a baker at Atlas Preparatory School. I started way back in middle school, but I didn't really start selling until I would say late high school. But it, I'd say it's been a lot of fun just doing that and earning the money and <laughs> having the experience of making connections with people. I think my mom always pushed us to be in the kitchen. Um, she kind of forced us to do more like traditional culinary steps, like cutting onions and doing all that. And like, I know how to do all that stuff. Uh, I can make a mean mac and cheese, but my passion really lies with like the baked goods and the sweets and the science behind that. I think I started because um, a lot of the times we weren't allowed to have sweets in the house. And so I would just make my own and apparently that was allowed and I got away with it for a really long time but my sweet tooth is lessened now and it's kind of shifted into being more for other people rather than for myself. I'd say if you're trying to start an idea, like the best thing to do, I was debating on baking for the longest time. Like I really wanted to do it, but I just didn't know how to get started. Um, but the best thing to do is just like start doing it. Like start beta testing your product with your family members. That's how it was for me. <laughs> and then branch out into your friends and then your teachers and then you know your community your general community and if it's a there's a market on anything i mean people sell rocks so if you can if people can sell rocks you can sell anything and you can have a passion for that and just you can be successful with it a sentiment that i really had to learn in the first few months of selling things even the first few weeks, heck, I'd say like the first few days, is I had family members who would tell me, no, you need to keep your prices low because if you keep your prices low, then people will buy more, which is true. That's like basic economics. But I'm, like, if you're a homemade business person such as myself, you need the money to pay for other things. Like we all have things that aren't like business related. So I would say if someone's trying to force you or trying to haggle with you and you're already set in your ways of being like, no, that's the price and I'm not, cutting down on that because you know the time and money it takes, then just stand your ground and don't let other people push you around on that.